And so once the return is reviewed and complete, then it gets delivered. Once again, tax caddy being the part of the process or the pro uh, product suite that interfaces with the taxpayer is used to deliver the returns, the payment vouchers, even your tax preparation invoice for, for your tax prep fees and can collect payment and everything. So we'll go and we will show all of that. So when the return is done, then it gets delivered to the taxpayer. And let's take a look at how that gets delivered. So I'm going to go back to the taxpayer side to show this once again. Um, uh, you know, we don't have enough time to, to show how everything is done, but I just logged into a, um, a taxpayer account where the tax return was delivered. And you can see here that I've got lists of what returns have been uploaded and I've got some summary information, but I can go into the tax return tab and you can see here that I've got summary of my federal and California and Massachusetts income. Um, and I've got the tax returns that are listed here. In the tax payments tab, you'll see that I've got, you know, in this case, um, my payments are past due, but I could go ahead as the taxpayer and I can mark items as paid. So I'll go ahead and do that for, uh, for this one. And if I wanted, by the way, if I clicked on it, it would take me in, uh, into the document viewer where I could see the voucher and I can print it. Uh, one thing to let you know, we are working on the ability to allow the taxpayer with a click to automatically make the payment. So that'll be something very nice coming. So the taxpayer can view the payments, not just the, uh, uh, the payments with the return, but any estimated payments. So you see, you can have all of their estimated payments set up here. And next year, when it comes to, uh, time to prepare the return, these payments will all get summarized in a work paper that'll be put in the binder. And if I go back to my overview screen, you'll see there's a list of things for the taxpayer to do. One of them is to sign their e-file authorization. So now in this requested items area, which is where originally I had requested them to upload the documents um, and sign the engagement letter. Now the only thing left to do is to sign the various e-file authorizations. When I sign the e-file authorizations, um, it, like the engagement letter in 7216 consent letter that I signed, it's going to start off by asking me to put in my first name, but then it's going to go through a KBA process where I'll put in the last four of my social security number and date of birth. And it's going to ask me questions such as, um, you know, which of these streets did you live on or which of these cars did you own? Uh, and I need to get three of the four questions correct. If I don't, I have two more attempts that I can uh, 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 do that. And, uh, if I succeed, then the e-file authorization is signed. If I don't, then it changes the status to manual signature required, but almost everybody, you know, well over 90% of taxpayers are able to answer their questions. Um, uh, fine. Uh, finally, uh, once, uh, you know, I'm all done, I can also pay my invoice. So you'll notice here that the CPA firm can deliver the invoice. And the taxpayer can not only view it here, but they can pay it with extreme ease. When I, when I say extreme ease, um, if they are paying it with Apple, if, if they have uh, paying it with their iPhone, then they can literally use Apple Pay. So just use their thumbprint or their face ID and use that to pay the bill. They can go ahead and um, pay by credit card if you allow them, that's up to you. They can pay by bank account. They can link their bank accounts very easily. We have instant verification, meaning they can go ahead and all they need to do is, you know, put in their credentials, let's say for Wells Fargo, it'll link their account and they can pay right there. And the benefit of doing that is that if they pay, th you know, this is basically ACH, there's no fees to you compared to credit cards. And, um, and in order for you to use this, all you need is a Stripe account. So the money never comes to SurePrep. You just put in your Stripe account uh, information into tax caddy and then money gets transferred directly to your stripe account so you can see here that we have the ability to take the the return all the way you know from initial gathering of documents to literally not only delivering the return and the vouchers and the e-file authorization but even the invoice and getting paid